Well, exactly one month after he was murdered in Westport, prosecutors say the man who killed that Lee Summit officer is now off the streets. Earlier tonight, 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield spoke to Thomas Orr's friends as they prepared to honor him this weekend. He should have been in Jefferson City celebrating homecoming with friends like he's done every year since graduating. But now, Thomas Orr's friends have to make the trip without him. We usually have annual homecoming shirts, and so this year um, we've decided to honor Tom Thomas's memory. We spoke with Brandon Kendrick over Facebook video chat, who was on his way to Lincoln University when he learned of a break in the case. Prosecutors charging this man, 22-year-old Sean Stewart, with second-degree murder. With us coming, coming closer to homecoming, um, like a breath of fresh air. According to court documents, a witness told police the night of the shooting, they saw Stewart fired a handgun and run down a flight of stairs. That night, California's was packed and Orr was hit. But for weeks, Kansas City police had trouble getting anyone else to come forward. Almost a month has transpired. It just no leads, nothing new, no, no good news. And so I'm always updating my frat brothers on our messaging sites. And they're like, hey, what's going on with the case? He leaves, you know anything? And it was just nothing, nothing after nothing. Until now. Fitting for Kendrick and his friends, who are on their way to celebrate one of Orr's favorite weekends, which they can now do with a little more peace. It's like a huge relief. In Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. Court documents say a fight led to that shooting. Officer Orr was an innocent bystander. After his service in Lee Summit, he was laid to rest in his hometown just outside of Chicago.